Happy Tuesday everybody and let's talk about how many units you can get between now and July 4th 2022. As a lot of you know when those July 4th deals drop it's always nice to have a buck ton of units in order to uh, you know spend on some good deals. And, uh, and here's just the thing there is and this is really interesting information there's 168 days between now and and uh, July 4th, there is about 24 weeks, obviously, various different types of uh, arena rotations. And uh, those 24 weeks, again, are important because it factors into, or the 168 days is more important because you're able to divide that by three. And it's like, you know, how many threes go into uh, 168, which is great because then it gives you the information on, uh, well, uh, alliance uh, events which again very important for those that are in alliances and indeed doing a little bit of a grind now something to bear in mind we could see any number of different types of events we could even see something with platinum pool uh, crystals or a platinum pool thing coming back there could be something around like april there could be more opportunities for units so do bear in mind that some of the stats and things that i'm going to be talking about is always subject to uh, to change and anything can really happen you've also got to consider things like rng when it comes to like arena crystals because when you open up arena crystals it could be a case they're absolutely dogger or they could be like complete pog like who knows like you could like open up there and see all oh, units so like rng is just uh plays a massive factor into certain elements and there's still a lot of stuff yet to be announced so that being said there's tons of information we can go off of which hopefully gives you some decent idea of totals of what you can achieve from a very low end grind at you know questing mainly auto fighting and some relatively all right content to grind uh higher end kind of arena grind middle middle of the road kind of arena grind and low end arena grind to give you an idea of how many units you can pick up so let's start off with a non arena grind structure First of all, with like the free to play, and then there's a little bit of kind of like like spending element to it. I've tried to make it more free to play orientated, with a little bit of extra of idea of like spend, uh, mainly with the summoner sigil. That's the only kind of spend thing that we're referring to here. What that kind of does with the totals. So if you do normal heroic master and uncollected, as I said, based on about six months, you will see yourself picking up uh, 900 uh, for each difficulty, respectively. For calendar per month, based on six months. Uh, between now and uh, July 4th deals, it could be a case that you pick up 600 units thereabouts. And doing a variant classic, which as a lot of you know, is something that I do advocate for if a new variant comes in. And let's face it, another variant will probably come in before uh, the, uh, the launch of the July 4th deals. You can do what I do, which is go into the classic mode, which is what, on is what is on screen right now, and also fight through it for 150 units worth. Uh, but obviously, you do you at the end of the day if you're interested in doing that. There's also other opportunities in that solo event. Solo events are probably one of the key things to gather the large amount of units over the larger space of time. And by, by kind of concentrating on I and mean, you should always concentrate on solo events. As soon as you're in, go grind like whatever it is. If it's arena wins, go into arena, leave some content like the end kind of last chapter for uh, event quest completion and kind of do that once event quest completion is on. And maybe just do it up to the fourth milestone to pick up the rewards. That revive, that health potion, and obviously the units, which is the key thing here, but mainly the revive and the health potion, those stacking up can really help you out, limit your spend on things like your units. So having it just is, is so important. It's something that I kind of like, I do do like. I mean, I say that, and at the moment recording this video, Arena Wins is on at the moment and has eight hours left. So I'll probably, um, whilst kind of like uh, just after the stream, just kind of do a little bit of a grind into it and, and finish it off because it is important for, for any player to do. More so if you're free to play and looking to stack those units. But then with the Summoner Sigil, it does add an additional 1,800 units to your grind with 75 units per week that you pick up from doing the test of the whatever thing that you're in, uh, Cavalier, Throne Breaker, whatever. But also if you're in an alliance. Now, I've so, I'm pretty certain I've worked these totals out and it's just based on the information that's currently in game at the moment, which is there's 56 three-day alliance events. Obviously, you need to be in, a, in, a re, in an alliance to uh, benefit from these units. But over getting 25 units, if you get the, pro, the proper kind of like top of the, the reward chain, then you will get times 56 because you know that reaches 168 and there's 168 days between uh between the recording this video and the uh, and july 4th it's 1400 units so that's how much you get as a, an additional if you're in an alliance 
But if you don't take an alliance into consideration and you are a spender, you get 10,350 un units just by merely doing auto fighting and kind of lower end content grind and a little bit micro grind and targeted. And also, if you're free to play, you get 8,550 units. Top that up with the 1,400 from being an alliance, and it gives you really damn close to that 10k units. And do bear in mind, a lot of the more spicier deals come at 18,000 units. So, is it possible? Of course, it's blinking possible. You should always be very kind of um, optimistic and positive of whatever you're doing, and set up challenges for yourself. But if you add in a little bit of an arena grind, it does shake up things a little bit on that. I will make this spreadsheet available in a uh, link in the description, probably created a Google Drive for it. Now, if you do milestone, and this is a low end one, this is based on three to six hours of uh, hours a week of grind. Milestone 12 in some of the trials, it was 48 times 150 units that you get for milestone 12, and you could add an extra 7,584 uh, units to your grind potential that's quite big we'll have a look at final totals in a minute but as well with medium to high this is always very i put these out but i kind of very much kind of feel like this is largely based on your own expectations of where your roster is and what you're able to do because saying that hey if you do uh catalyst arenas each week you know the we get like two a week and you're kind of looking to do rounds eight to ten eight to ten rounds on them and you are stacking a little bit of units you could take that away you could just not worry about that and focus on something else uh may, mainly some of some of the other arenas available but if you're doing some of the trials and you're doing uh, milestone 10 of the basic arena you could see yourself adding in an extra fifteen thousand units between now and July 4th. This means that your totals could be close to about 25,000 units as a free to play player if you indeed kind of balanced in a medium end grind with uh, with stuff. So uh, so yeah, there is plenty plenty of options available. The same with like high end, high end like 21,000 units. I I pr I know so many people that are able to over and exceed that, okay? It doesn't mean to see like this represents the full extent of those intense grinders, extensive grinders, whatever you want to call them, right? I know that somebody I think was in one year uh, and I think like uh, sent a tweet to Brian Grant. I did about 200,000 units or something in the space of a year, but this is more of a case of like it, it it's kind of like at what players can do with a low end of grind, not extensive. I'm not talking like, you know, 20 hours a day in arena. I'm talking, oh, not 20 hours a day, but that's a, that's a bit excessive. It's like eight hours a day, four to five hours a day, looking at you all doing, what, 28,000 hours, 20, 28 um, hours a week. And it's just like, well, look, nobody, nobody do be wanting to do that. But in any case, it gives you an idea of what is a poten potential for those that want to do high, not like completely, this is a this is my religion, MC is my religion kind of grind. But hopefully it adds um, uh, perspective of, of, of things. And finally, final totals, which is still a very interesting read as, as ever. And that is, first of all, that uh, if you are a free-to-play player and do those things with no arena grind, add the Alliance uh, alliance um, free units you get from the three-day uh, use if your Alliance participates in it, you could be looking at just under 10,000 units, which I think we kind of understood. If we do a low-end grind in arena with everything we just said a moment ago, questing Alliance low-end there, and also RNG from arena crystals, and I've put 3,000, and let's face it, you could probably see that you get a lot more if you're doing if you're between now and kind of July 4th. You may even get more than 3,000, uh, or maybe it will come in line with that. Maybe it might be a bit less, but let's just say that it's 28,454. So it gives you that that potential that you could be getting that final deal in um, in, in when the uh, the deals drop on in July 4th. And then in the high end, you know, you could be looking at about 34 to 35,000 units. It depends how you apply yourself to this stuff and also when it comes to uh, the sigil okay when it comes to the summon the sigil adding an extra 1800 units so look you can see where the, the the lines are there is it worth kind of like getting some of the sigil to like boost your amount of units for this is like now nah, you can do you can do like um uh, you can do it like a different way but uh that's just down to you, like how what what the perspective of availability for you to be grinding out those units. So it was an interesting like deep dive into this, and uh, that has been the video. Is there a method that you think of which is better? Put it in the comment section down below. 
I think this is um, this is pretty much there, but it gives you an idea of what is a what is available to you to grind out between now and uh, July fourth. I wish you good luck in the grind, whatever you're doing, however you're getting those units, and whether or not you are shooting for that 18k unit deal, or you're looking to get yourself a nice little sec securing yourself a throne breaker and all that stuff. I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting this video. Share it with somebody that's interested in uh, unit grind philosophy and stuff like that. If you don't, you know. That, that would be great. And I will see you very, very soon. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Check out some other content as well on screen right now. See you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.